What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are not reviewing an RC car, but instead I'm gonna show you how to make your own decals for your cars and maybe even your own apparel using this little device right here for about a hundred bucks, so stay tuned. So if you've been watching some of my videos recently, you've probably noticed that I've been wearing uh, some clothing with my own little logo on it. This one is a shirt I made with my buddy Drive It Ryan. Uh, I have my YouTube name on one side, I have his on the other. Check his channel out, he does a lot of car videos um, and uh, I think we're gonna be overlapping very shortly with the new car that I got in for the channel. And uh, on the back we have our motto that we're going with that I don't know if anyone else can relate to, but we are always behind schedule and over budget. So we threw that on the back. And uh, what I make these shirts and vinyl stickers with is this little thing right here. This is the Cricut Joy. Um, I know you've probably seen them with their bigger machines, um, but this one I picked up because of the price and because of the size. And I wasn't really sure if I was going to like making uh, vinyl stickers for anything or even if I had a need for it. Um, but I think this thing has really paid for itself almost instantly. Um, I found out some cool ways to use it. I'm gonna show you some examples of the stickers that I've used on my cars, obviously the shirts that I've made and uh, anything that you can think of, you can easily make. This thing came in at uh, new, they're about 130 bucks. You can buy them on Amazon. I'll link it down below. I picked this one up um, on eBay for about a hundred bucks used. Um, so, you know, shop around if you don't really wanna buy one uh, brand new, but again, 130 bucks. Um, to get into the vinyl making ecosystem, I think is a really good deal and you'll probably end up using it more than you would expect. So I figured let's first start off with some of the things that I've made with it because everyone's gonna wanna know what can you make with it and then I'll go into how you make it. So of course I have a bunch of shirts and stuff that I've made with the logo on it on the rear and uh, on the front here. This is about as big as I can get my logo on this machine specifically, but I thought it was okay, so um, that's what I did there. Um, obviously making shirts for other regions. Um, my girlfriend and I have a birthday one day apart, so I made us some birthday shirts. That is mine. And uh, of course, another t-shirt that I can wear in all my videos and when I'm out. And then I have a little logo right on the back there. Um, yeah, so it's I think it's pretty versatile. Obviously, you can make other things besides just this one logo. Um, so that's the stuff for vinyl heat transfer um, for shirts and t-shirts and stuff like that. Then you also have the vinyl stickers. So I printed these little flames off. I found the uh, PNG file for it online and uh, stuck it right on here for my mini B. I think it looks pretty good. I have it the same on both sides and it's pretty easy to uh, do. And then the last, excuse me, the last car that I've put stickers on and I haven't really shown this yet, but I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Um, this is my new Arma Mojave body. Um, so that is a decal that I printed off and put on the inside. Got it up there as well. And then I got this underneath as well, so. Yeah, so those are some examples of what you can do with it. Um, I'll show some other um, video of some stuff Driver Ryan sent me that we made the last time we was here. So again, those are all the examples of what you can do with it. And uh, if you wanna stick around to see how you do it, how easy it is, how hard it is, uh, let's go into that right now. So first things first, you're going to need to decide what you want to make. Um, vinyl stickers are going to be a different product than the heat transfer vinyl for shirts. So I will show you what you need for both. Um, I picked this up for um, vinyl stickers. This is made specifically for the Cricut Joy. Um, it's super tiny and I like it just because you don't really have to do anything for it. Um, this is called Smart Vinyl. It comes in the exact size that you need. Um, it goes right through the printer so you can get it in any color. This is white. Um, I, also, I also got... Okay. Um, I also got it in red. So there are a bunch of different colors. I will link this stuff down below. Uh, this is a shiny red. This is a matte white, but both are for stickers. 
also for stickers, you're going to need this transfer paper. Uh, this is what you use once you have the sticker cut out in the vinyl, you transfer it onto this. And then from here, you stick it onto whatever uh, surface you want. And then this peels off. So I will show you how to do that at the end of this video. And then this is um, a pack that I picked up. This is heat transfer vinyl. This is for t-shirts and, and stuff like that. Anything with fabric. Um, you can see I have a, an extra one on here. This is something that I printed off for Driver Ryan. Um, it comes out like that once you're done. But this is just a sample pack. I would recommend going with one of these if you're not really sure what color you want. Um, but this pack in particular came with, I think like, I don't know, 30 different colors. But as you can see, it comes in all of these different colors. This is for t-shirts and fabrics and pillows and whatever you want. Uh, this is just a sample pack. And you'll notice that this is a lot bigger than the device. So what I've done is all you have to do is really cut these in half and you'll get a, uh, a strip like this. So unfortunately with the, the sample pack, you are limited with the length of it. Um, with the vinyl stickers, you can do as long as you want, but the image has to be, I believe, four and a half inches tall at the max. Um, you can kind of get around that um, printing in different ways, but I'll show you that as well. What you'll also need for the heat transfer vinyl, this came with uh, the sample pack, is just this, um, I'm not really sure what it's made out of, maybe like a, a copper or something. Um, this is just to put over the, um, the vinyl when you're uh, ironing it onto your fabric. Um, so this comes with it. If you don't get a sample pack, pick up something like this. You could probably also use like another t-shirt or an old rag or something because you don't want to put your iron directly onto uh, this vinyl transfer. It will melt. First things first, you're going to need to download the Cricut Design Space app. I will link down below where you can download that. It's obviously on the Cricut website. Um, click on it. You're going to need to create a, um, a little ID here. Um, so I already have mine, so I will sign in. All right, so once you, okay, here we are. So once you get into the Cricut Design app, um, you'll go into new project and you'll also need to set up what your device is. So um, there's a bunch of different devices. I obviously have the Cricut Joy, so we're gonna click on Cricut Joy. Um, so it knows what dimensions that we can print in. So then you can go into upload. These are all the things that I have already uploaded and um, have printed. So let's say that you don't have that and you're looking for something online. So what you can do is obviously upload an image. Um, we can save something from the internet if we want. So let's just do the Arma logo. Um, because obviously we like Arma. Um, try to find a PNG file if you can. Um, we will save it under downloads. Okay, then we're gonna go back over to the app. And let's open this up and let's see if we can find our logo. So find out where your logo is. Here it is, we're gonna open it and it shows you the logo right there. Then you can click on any one of these. Um, depending on how um, complex your logo is, you may want to, to pick a different one of these. So we'll just go right in the middle, right? Then you click continue. It will show you what your, your image is gonna look like. We don't want um, these inside things because then our logo isn't really gonna look like anything. Um, but go ahead and do that and click continue. Once you click continue, it'll show you what your logo is gonna look like. So we want to do um, the cut image. So cut image, we'll click on that. We'll click upload and it will bring it right here. So once we do that, we can click on the thing that we want. We'll go to add to canvas and it'll put it right on the screen. So like I was saying before, uh, the Cricut Joy, the max width is four and a half inches, um, but the length is unlimited. So if we wanted to make this super big, uh, we could turn this sideways. We could make this um, four and a half inches um, tall and it would be really, really long. Obviously we don't need that because I would have nowhere to put it. So we can go in here, we'll change this back to zero. 
and uh, let's just do the max length as four and a half inches just to give you guys an example all right put it up at the top here and we're gonna click on make it this will bring you onto your uh, next screen and obviously if we are using and since we are using the smart vinyl um, There is an option for that right here. So we're gonna click on that. You don't need a mat if you're using something that isn't the smart vinyl you will need to um, You will need to get the sticky mat. Um, I also have that for the um, The vinyl heat transfer vinyl, so we're gonna click ok so something to remember um, when you're doing a sticker, a decal, uh, you do not need to use the mirror option. That is for the heat transfer vinyl. I'll show you that in the next step. Um, but all you have to do here is um, orient it where you want. I put it all the way to the top and I can just put this thing in. I don't have to cut this at all. It'll go right into the machine. So let's uh, click continue here. Now it's going to try to find the Cricut Joy. So let's plug this thing in and uh, get this all started up. All right, so it has found the Cricut Joy. So here it is all plugged in. We're gonna open this up. There really isn't much to it. Uh, there's a little blade in there. Uh, you can replace that. So on the screen, we're going to click uh, Smart Vinyl. It's going to tell you to load the material in. And as you can see, once it goes in, it'll recognize it. It measures to make sure that it's long enough to print your sticker. All right. And then all you have to do is click go. So we're gonna click go here and the machine should do the rest. Once it is complete on the screen, you will click unload. It backs the material out. And uh, now we can get to the fun part. So for the next step here, an X-Acto knife or like a picking tool like this um, is definitely helpful. So what we're gonna wanna do is uh, just separate as much as we can from where our sticker was. Wish I had some scissors on me, but I don't. So we're just gonna cut this off, okay? And this has our sticker, so you probably can't see it too well, um, but this is the first step. So now you're gonna wanna go in and take off all of the parts that you are not using as your sticker. And you just peel it off like so. There's one part. And you'll start to see your sticker kind of come alive here. All right. So I'm not sure if you can see that here, but our sticker is there. And so since the other side of this is the sticky part, this doesn't really do anything, right? So now we need our transfer tape. So as you can see here, we're gonna cut out something that's very close to that size. Cut this right across. Take that off, we don't need this whole roll. And we're just going to take the transfer sticker. Peel that off. And lay it down over our sticker, okay? Make sure this is nice and flat on there. Make sure it sticks nice and well. And you've probably noticed that this is an easy sticker. Uh, something with more detail is going to take a lot more time to uh, pull it off. And then the difficult part that I found is getting the sticker to transfer onto this transfer paper. So you really need to kind of take the sticker that it, the paper that it's on and really kind of just roll it back until you get it to start. 
And once you get it to start coming off, you can see there, it's coming off nice and uniform. Just make sure you go slow. You don't want to pull any parts off that you didn't mean to pull off. That one came up a little bit. Uh, just kind of roll it back and forth and it'll come back down. Or you can use the picking tool to kind of lay it down flat where you need. And there we go. All right, so this is the sticky side now, right here. And obviously the sticker is sticky. And when you place this down somewhere, you have your vinyl sticker. Okay, so to use the heat transfer vinyl for t-shirts and, and merch like that, um, there are a couple more steps, so we're gonna go through it really quick. We'll use the same Arma logo in the Cricut app. Um, this is part of the heat transfer vinyl, the sample kit that I have. Um, I just cut it into a smaller piece, but you'll notice that there is a dull side and there is a shiny side. And the shiny side is going to go down on this Cricut Joy mat. So you will need one of these mats or you can get the, um, the smart vinyl, which comes in a roll like the, uh, the sticker vinyl. But what you're gonna need to do is put the shiny side down on your mat like this and make sure that it covers that top part of the grid here. And like I said, this sticker that we're doing is super small, um, but you can do unlimited length um, if you get the roll. Um, the sample kit that I have, you can only do I think like 12 or 13 inches, whatever that length is. And um, now we'll go right into the app. I'll just show you on the screen here with me. I think you can see that. So we're gonna use the same steps as before. We're gonna click make it up in the top. And the big difference here with the heat transfer is that we're using it on a mat. So we'll click the mat and not without mat. And we'll turn this sideways because we don't need to use all of that length, right? And you will need to click this mirror option. So mirroring it flips the logo um, on the reverse side so that when you pull it out and use the heat transfer, it'll be right side up. So we'll go ahead and click continue. It will recognize the Bluetooth of the Joy. Uh, we're using, I, I haven't really noticed that it, it makes a big difference here, um, whether you click smart vinyl or something else. Um, so let's do smart iron on, I guess it doesn't really matter. Make sure that the printer is uh, mirrored. Your print is mirrored. Uh, our pressure is default. We're gonna plug this into our joy. And as you'll see again, it recognizes it. It moves it all the way up there and make sure that there's enough length for our small sticker. And we're gonna press go and it'll do its thing. And there you have it. So this is your heat transfer vinyl. As I was saying before, you do need to press that mirror button in the app because this is the sticky side, right? So when we put it on our clothes, it'll go this side down and it'll be right side up. All right, so to add your decal on your shirt, super easy. All you need is your shirt, obviously. Um, don't forget your special uh, ironing paper that came with your kit. And any iron will do. You just wanna make sure you have it on the no steam and the highest setting possible. So we're gonna set you guys down right here see if we can show the whole process right on the sleeve of my shirt here might be kind of hard on a sleeve just because there's uh, there's some seams that's all right try and line this up the best we can then you're gonna take your sticker and put it wherever you want I'm gonna put mine right over that Want to make sure there's nothing else on here because we don't need that. All right, I think that looks good right there. I'm not too picky about it. Then we're going to put our special paper over this. And all you have to do is move this around for maybe 10 seconds. Again, make sure this is on the highest setting. Constantly applying heat. Right. 
then go ahead and peel this off. If you notice that it's not completely stuck, you can put a little more heat on it, but this should just peel right off. Like so, and boom, you now have a custom t-shirt. So I hope you guys thought this video was cool. I know it's something different, um, but I thought it was a cool way to customize your RC cars, customize your clothing, um, put decals on your real cars if you have them. And for dirt cheap, for about 100 bucks, 150 bucks when you get the vinyl stickers and stuff like that, I think it's a really cool way to do it. Some cool projects if you guys have kids, um, if you wanna make stuff for your parents, whatever, gifts. I think it's a really cool way to do it. And uh, it's definitely not the last that you will be seeing of my custom little logos here. Maybe I'll make some 413RC t-shirts. If you guys are interested, let me know down below. I can send them out. Maybe we'll do a giveaway or something. And uh, again, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.